Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So I've shuffled the cards and laid them out. I have two messages from the oracles. The first one is going out to you. It's talking about the importance of slowing down. There might be certain things in your life that you need to pause and allow things to basically unfold. The next energy is talking to the individual that you're dealing with. I feel like this individual, they need your help, okay? I feel like they need your love and support during this period of time. And this card is emphasizing that if you are a cross-watcher, it's important for you to ask for help during this period of time, especially if you're struggling in a relationship that means a lot to you and you haven't been able, you know, to get that sort of assistance you need in your love life. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. And if you're interested in learning how to read tarot, check out the links in the description box below. So let's start your reading. The first card is indicating to me that someone, well, actually the two of you, have worked very hard on this relationship and have done a lot for one another. I feel like there was a lot of effort, there was a lot of love, there was a lot of dedication. And for some of you, you may have spent a few months, a few years, a few decades with this individual. So the time span is not really of importance. What is important is that a lot of heart and soul went into this union. Right. Now I'm seeing the energy of clashes and difficulties, right? I feel like the two of you were so obsessed with building the relationship up that there were cracks that were forming during the course of it. And it might have caused, you know, the diminishing of the relationship. In essence, it might have harmed the two of you. Maybe one individual was very obsessed with their work or the two of you were very busy with life and things of that was happening. And so even though the relationship was getting built up, there was this distance that was growing between the two of you. And that could be an indication of why we have this card, which is indicating clashing and having arguments and having difficulties. I feel like the two of you were at each other's throats for some time, and it could be coming from a place of neglect, feeling a sense of sadness, feeling like, you know, you're not getting that attention, they're not getting that attention from you. That's why we have these two very interesting cards which are indicating slow down and ask for help. Okay, I feel like the two of you could be very busy with the end of the year sort of planning for Christmas and all of the holiday season, etc. There could be a lot of things that are coming up. There could be things that you have to do in the home. There could be things that, you know, you have such as responsibilities, deadlines, projects, etc. Especially if you're juggling, you know, your work life with your home life and your romantic life. So it could be even more difficult to fathom how you're going to move forward. The big issue here is... You know, someone has a very unrealistic view of how they want things to be. I feel like one individual has deep fantasies that are bordering on illusions. It's like chasing mirages. And I feel like someone has lost touch with reality. You know, they need to come back down to earth. The cards are saying, yeah, that you can't do everything that you set out to do. You can't achieve everything that you set out to do. You have to, you know, pick your battles. I feel like sometimes people want to win in their work life, their, you know, their home life as well as their love life, and they want it all. But, you know, life is not like that. You either have, you know, one or two interests that catches your fancy, the things that are most important to you, but you can't have the perfect life. You can't balance it all unless you have a bunch of assistants assisting you to do so. So I feel like, you know, someone might have been focused very hard on their career or focused very hard on other things that are happening in their life that one individual was feeling a sense of neglect and feeling a sense of sadness and feeling a sense of emptiness. You know, not feeling like they're connected anymore in terms of the relationship. And relationships are about, are about growing together. It's not about, you know, growing apart. It's about helping each other. So I feel like the problem here is that the two of you may have drifted apart because there were so many other things that were going on in this relationship. Now I feel like, you know, this situation, there's a chance for a new beginning. But I see here that someone is feeling very sorry for themselves, okay? This could be you or the individual you're dealing with. But I feel like 
one individual is just trying to take on the role of the martyr. I feel like someone doesn't want to lose that uh, pity that they're getting from everybody else, okay? And um, there needs to be some sort of uh, element that shifts the situation because I feel like one individual is being very selfish here. It could either be you or the individual you're dealing with, but that element is coming through because someone is feeling neglected and someone is very busy all the time. And uh, that needs to be addressed, you know. There's no easy way of saying that. I'll say it in the most nicest way, of way possible. But the truth is the truth. There needs to be a shift in the situation. Because uh, one individual is definitely feeling left out and feeling neglected and feeling like they've been, you know, abandoned. But let's find out more. Someone was trying to be very patient during the situation. Yeah, I feel like things were moving at a very rapid pace and one individual was trying to be patient with the other individual. There is this element of neglect and not getting what they want. So I feel like the situation turned out to be the opposite of what the two of you imagined. emotional emptiness and a need to address these issues in the situation. There are a lot of things that are stressing the two of you out during this period of time and I feel like there's an avoidance here to deal with the issues. Someone is just trying to chase after every single thing that catches their fancy in the most unrealistic of ways, okay? And I feel like the two of you need to talk. It could also be that one individual feels, you know, like there's other possibilities out there, like for example, the grass is green on the other side. For some of you, you could be dealing with an individual that might feel as if they'll find somebody better or, you know, they're just trying to waste your time. I feel like that could be one of the possibilities. Again, I have to look at it from all angles. Now, I feel like in terms of the situation, the two of you are avoiding one another a lot. And um, the cards are calling about calling for a change in attitude, a change in the way the two of you are approaching this relationship. I feel like this sort of behavior to rush and get things done or to, you know, try to sort things out is um, adding a lot of strain to your relationship. And this can go out to people that are in married relationships as well. Sometimes the relationship might feel as if it's over and you're just stuck in a dead relationship. But it could be that there's certain issues that are in the situation that need to be addressed that have not been addressed. And I'm sensing here that there's um, a great deal of um, frustration as well as the desire to try to make things happen again. So I feel like the two of you are holding on to hope that things can improve. But there's going to be, you know, a need for a different strategy, a different way of approaching things. Because right now, the current uh, way of doing things isn't working for either you or this individual. Let's get a few more cards. I do see that there's a possibility of turning things around. But also, someone has to be realistic. Especially if you're dealing with a partner that uh, wants to do it all, achieve it all, you know. They're really digging their own grave in the situation. Yeah, the cards are indicating that, yeah, it's hard to fight the heartbreak because the two of you have a unique connection and I feel like it's being thrown away because one individual is chasing after something which could be an illusion. Right? There could be other interfering elements in the situation that are confusing someone's mind and making things even more worse than it already is. So be aware of friends and family members that are triggering your partner's behavior or triggering this individual's behavior. It could even be pushing your buttons as well. 
I feel like there's a desire to, um, you know, be in a certain place in life at this point, and uh, the stress of it is overwhelming one individual to the point in which they are either losing their mind or becoming obsessed with something, either such as their work or, you know, getting confused by all these other individuals that are interfering in the relationship. So be very aware of it. It's not really a good situation to be in because I feel like there's external factors that are damaging your relationship and the universe keeps trying to give you a chance to make things work because it wants the two of you to be together. But because of all these other negative elements, it's tearing into the relationship and causing heartbreak. And I feel this pain, if it really strikes to the core, when it does have a chance, if the two of you do separate completely forever it's going to be a pain that's going to be everlasting it's not going to be something that just goes away i hope you enjoyed your tarot card reading have a wonderful day and take care